Om Shanti, welcome back. We are in the recording of 31st of October's Godly Blessing. And in this Godly Blessing, Supreme Father wants us to become very powerful. And that power can come through taking a pledge. And that is what has been mentioned in any kind of society in this world. Whether it's been any war, people have thought about winning. Whether it's any kind of scientific feat which people have thought about getting through. They always had that willpower, they had the pledge, they were ready to give up anything for achieving that success. Same thing goes for a student who's studying hard. He's ready to give up on his movies, he's ready to give up on his nightlife, he's ready to give up on clubbing, meeting friends and to do anything to achieve that. And the same kind of pledge needs to be done over here. So let's see what does Supreme Father have to say here. Because he says, may you be constantly powerful by making your promise strong with mantra of man manabhav as your weapon man manabhav means make your mind concentrated on me alone the supreme creator the supreme light the divinity alive and the most divine being in the whole world in all the three worlds actually so godfather says the children who make a true promise in their minds your minds then become man manabhav that means when you detach yourself, it's like focusing on your studies, it's like focusing on your scientific project. Nothing else matters to you. So you have a yoke or you have a connection. You have a bright, powerful connection with that project, with that work, with that exam, with that job, whatsoever you're focusing upon. You have made a promise to give up on so many attractions of the world. So God says, then your mind will become man manabhav. Then only you'll be able to concentrate or meditate. This mantra of Man Manabhav becomes a weapon to overcome any situation. However, let it enter your mind. I have to do this. That has to be there. That I have to do this no matter what. Have the thought that whatever the Father has said is already accomplished. Have the thought that whatever the Father has said is already accomplished. Therefore, any promise you make in your mind should be strong and you will then become powerful. You have already think that whatsoever you're thinking about in your life to achieve, you're already accomplished, provided conditions apply, that your mind is pure, your heart is pure, and you're thinking about the growth of everybody in this, and anybody in that project, or whatsoever you're thinking about. It's a growth oriented, not just for self, for others too. When that happens, then you're doing godly work. So therefore, any promise you make in your mind should be strong and you will then become powerful. Repeatedly check yourself. Is my promise powerful or is my test powerful? A test could be anything, any kind of hurdle which you think about. Could be your friends coming away to your place and not letting you study. Could be any situation where your scientific work doesn't do well. Any kind of team building which you're doing in your in your business or as a job CEO and the team is falling apart anything any kind of challenge God says become powerful repeatedly check yourself is my promise powerful or is my test powerful do not let the test make you weak in fulfilling your promise that no matter what happens my mind will be focused on the qualities of the supreme creator on the divinity of the supreme creator and I'll use all those qualities and divinity and the power of my mind, which we achieve through meditation, the focus, the strength, the, the, the attention and the qualities to attain success in that project, no matter what. And with this, Om Shanti.